right guys so we're here at the dollar tree and i'm gonna take part in the ten dollars survival kit challenge from the dollar tree so the rules are your kit has to be able to make fire rule number two your kit has to be waterproof must be submerged underwater for 60 seconds without any of the items being compromised rule number three is you have to be able to provide at least two meals rule number four is your kit has to provide shelter to get out of the elements so and you have to be able to survive for 12 hours so let's get off here in dollar tree and let's see what we can get so remember it has to be less than ten dollars before tax because yeah once you get tax it'll probably be 1051 here with a florida tax but it needs to be ten dollars before tax ten dollars or less let's go see what they got All right, so one of the things that we need is shelter. So right here we have these party tablecloths. These are 54 inches by 108. But you know what? I think this material is gonna be too flimsy. We're gonna try to find something better. Let's keep looking. Okay, so they have these items over here. Fancy heat, emergency, fancy wood. So this is probably very good to for your fire. So we're gonna go ahead and get one of these. Put it in the basket. All right, so to make our shelter, we're gonna need some cordage, of course. So for a dollar, can't beat it. So that's item number two. So we got $8 left to go. All right, so for our shelter, I think this would probably be a better option. We have a shower curtain liner. This is 70 inches by 72 inches, so it's close to probably about 60 by 60 pretty much, so, and it's made out of PVC, so we'll see how this goes, so we got this. So the rule says that we have to be able to make two meals, so this is a three pack of ramen noodles, so you can actually make three meals out of this for one dollar instead of having to buy two different meals, so this will actually give me an extra dollar for some other item that I could totally use, so, all right, let's take that. Okay, since our kit has to be waterproof, I'm gonna get these really big Ziploc bags and they should waterproof my kit. So that's already five items, so I'm up to five dollars. Five dollars more to go. All right, so since we have to be able to make fire, over here we got these large pack of matches. Has 300 matches. So this will be good right here. And also, I got this container right here that is good for boiling water so I can boil water to make my food so this right here so that brings us up to seven dollars three dollars more to go all right so one of the items that we're gonna get is also a knife this comes very handy in survival situations of course it's one of your most important items and also to use to cut your quarters to make your shelter so we're gonna get a knife so that brings us up to eight we got two dollars more to spend all right so one of the most important items of course for survival is water so we're gonna get this nice big bottle of water so we have a dollar more for one more item all right so for our last item we need we're gonna need some kind of lights so we got these flashlights over here so but I'm looking at these flashlights and they're saying batteries are sold separately so that means I would have to use another dollar to buy a set of batteries so I need to find one that already comes with a battery so this one not included also It includes three non-replaceable 1.5 LR41 alkaline batteries. So this is gonna be our survival light right here. So now we got our bag, our cart complete. We got our $10 worth of survival items. So let's put it together and let's go out and use it. All right, so we got all our items that we need for our kit. As you can see, it's got the receipt right here. Total came out to $10 before tax. So we're gonna try it out in the woods. So we'll see how we do out there. So please give us a like on our page and so you can see our next video when we go out into the woods and you can see how this survival kit works.